Alright, so hey guys, so in today's video, I will be rehousing my two Australian leaf insects. You can see them right there. As you can tell, this one right here, the larger one, he desperately needs it. He's only molted once since I've had him, but these guys, they about double in size. And then this one up here, the smaller one. You guys can see right there the size difference between the two of them and this one here he hasn't molted yet I'm still waiting on him so let me get these guys back in their enclosure and then show you guys their new one alright so here's their old enclosure and you can see him already checking out his new but here's his new one it's about it's they're both critter keepers i'm not sure th of the dimensions but as you can tell this new one is easily double the size so yeah one thing about these guys if you ever think about getting them is they're they're so active i mean they come running out of their enclosure every time all right so i've already washed this enclosure out and disinfected it so let me add in some paper towel, paper towel to the bottom. All right, so there we go. And this is just primarily for when they poop and leftover leaves. Like you can see in their old enclosure, how big of a mess. So it's just easier to clean out. And one thing I should mention is this is not their adult enclosure. This is just while they're still growing. I do plan on having a much larger ones because these guys do reproduce asexually along with normal male and female. So you're going to have babies, so you have to be prepared. So now let me clean out their enclosure and move that container over. All right, so now I have the container all cleaned out and full of water. And all that's for is the live plants. If you are not familiar with leaf insects and stick insects, they need to eat live plants. That's what their diet is. So what this is right here is just some rose. Normally leaf insects, they'll eat pretty much anything that has thorns on them. Uh, also what I use is there's some wild rose that is around my house, but this is some that my mom keeps and she let me use some. Uh, it's the first time this type I've used for them. and So far they've been gnawing on it. But it's starting to get a little old so I'm probably going to have to replace it. Um, and then one thing I need to do with their enclosure is I need to miss it down. I normally do that just so they have a little humidity. Alright, I think we should be ready to move them in now. Alright, so there we go. Now they're in their new enclosure. I have their old enclosure over here cleaned out. I'll probably use that for another animal eventually. But this should work for both of them. Probably this guy right here. Probably one molt. And then the other one maybe a couple molts. Just because, again, they double in size. But yeah, they should be happy in here. Yeah, that that's one thing. They love climbing in here, so they'll normally climb out of their enclosures. Yeah, but anyways, it should be good for them. And I'm going to update you guys on some of my tarantulas and some of my invertebrates um, on some molts I've been having lately. So let me show you guys that. Alright, so first what I'm going to update you guys on are my white spotted assassin bugs. You guys remember I have one adult and then I bought these five babies. All of them are still doing good. They're getting, some of them are getting decent size. But in here, um, one thing if you don't know is when it becomes spring, there's a lot more molts 
in tarantulas just because there's more humidity and it's just easier for them to molt so they'll normally choose to. So now that spring is here I'm starting to get some molts which I'm glad of because I've been waiting on some of these tarantulas for a while. But yeah in here these two on the right they both molted. Um, they got in some decent size. And these guys they have been doing pretty good. I'm hoping they are going to grow a lot faster because I want to have a colony of these and I hope they will breed too. And also updates on my other assassin bugs, my orange spotted. Uh, I have three of those and all of them are getting nice size. I'm hoping those guys are going to molt soon and will become adults. So that would be good. But while I'm here, I need to squirt these guys down. They don't like being squirt directed, but they need to be moistened down. So now let me put their hides back. Alright, so now let me move on to the next tarantulas. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can really see... Right there in the middle of the screen, that's one of my ghost ornamentals. I do have two others of those. One large female and then another smaller one. So this little one here, he recently molted. He molted a couple days ago. He's probably actually getting close to be able to feed again. But yeah, I wasn't expecting this guy to molt. I was surprised when he did. But yeah, not much to see. So, also while I'm here, I'm going to squirt down his cage. Just because since he's still molting, he's... Well, since he's still early molting, he still needs plenty of humidity. Alright, so let me move on to the next tarantula. Alright, so the next tarantula is another ornamental. This is my Pocleferia Metallica, or the Goody Sapphire ornamental. This is my smaller one inch, uh, well, not one inch anymore since she's recently molted. But I'm hoping this one will be a molt male. Because if you guys remember, I have a larger, uh, about four inch female. I'm hoping to be able to breed if this is a male. But yeah, um, hopefully he... Molted a couple days ago, you can see right there, when he last molted. And, so yeah, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting this one either. And also this guy, I will spray down his cage. Alright, so let's move on to the next tarantula. Alright, so the next tarantula is my uh, Brazilian Giant White Knee. If you guys follow my Instagram, you saw that I posted a picture on her uh, when I found that she molted. Uh, I'm real glad she's molted because she's one of my favorites. And her molt, um, I wasn't able to sex it. I was trying to, but it was too torn up. Um, but I'll show you guys what I did with her molt after I'm done with her. But yeah, anyway, she was, her molt was three inches, so I'll say she's probably four to four and a half. These guys grow pretty fast. And one thing I remember when she was in pre-molt is, if you guys own these guys, or if you're thinking about them, um, if you're thinking about them, you definitely should know they have a very high appetite. They eat all the time. Because when she was in pre-molt, I had to stop her from trying to eat she no matter how heavy she was in pre-molt what i was doing in her cage she was trying to eat and try and get food she was always hungry but yeah i'm really hoping she is a female and i'm real glad she's getting some nice colors and some nice size i am definitely gonna rehouse her just waiting till she hardens up and is safe to do it and also her i need to Moisten her enclosure. And just yesterday is when I found her. 
that she actually molted. All right, so let me just quickly show you guys what I did with her molt. All right, so here's my giant white knees molt. As you can see right there, um, it's the abdomen is too messed up to sex it. But yeah, this is what I've been starting to do with the molts for some of my larger tarantulas. So also I have here is my larger green ball of blue. I did a rehousing video of her and I was able to sex her. I don't know if you guys can see in there. No, you can't really, but it is a female. So I'm glad about that. And then also I have up here, this is my ghost ornamental. I was talking about the larger female, here's her sex. And she's just about four inch leg span. And I like, uh, last night I was feeding her and she actually came out, which I was surprised. And she's massive now. I mean, she's like at least a five inch. So when she molts, she's definitely gonna need to be rehoused. So stay tuned for that. And then here, this is my Columbian Lesser Black. Um, she's a good size too. Um, she's starting to get her adult colors, which I'm real glad about. And then here's my Mexican fire leg. You can see this is what size she was when I first got her. And then she molted recently. I was also able to sex her. Again, you guys can't really see it. Um, and it is a female. Oh, and by the way, the Colombian Lesser Black, I wasn't able to sex. The go All right, sorry for the cut. My phone ran out of storage. But anyways, I was able to sex the uh, Ghost Ornamental, but I bought her as a sex female. It's from a real great person. So I was already for sure it was a female, but might as well check. And also what I've been also doing with the molts is pinning the carapace. So it will stay there. You can see I did it with my giant white knees. And also one thing I want to say, uh, what these are, they're pieces of styrofoam. I have this black um, silk, uh, well not, not silk, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of you find in the arts and crafts aft section. And then I have this special glue that you spray on, so I sprayed that on to attach it. And then I had to pin it in in some areas. So that I'm able to pin the molts. So there's two pieces here. They're stacked on top of each other. And then I have a third one here. And these are kind of for the dead specimens. So this here is a camel spider. If you guys remember, uh, about a year ago is when I received this guy. And I was able to do a feeding video on him. You can see right there. Um, this is a relative small size. You can see him there compared to my finger. He's only like two inches total with his uh, arms stretched out. And then also here I have a question mark roach. And this here is a rainbow dung beetle male. You can see right there that nice horn and the beautiful colors. Um... But yeah, all these guys I did own, so they are mine. And with here, you can see I have some black, ac I mean some white fabric on here. But yeah, so that's a quick look at some of my molds. And also what I hope to do is I still have some room. So I hope to keep track of the molds of the tarantulas until they're adults. As you can see with the Mexican fire leg. And I'm only going to wait until they're about the size as the giant white knee. So about three inches until you can see their adult colors to keep track of their molts because until then it's pointless. Alright, so let me move on to one more tarantula and then that'll be the last for the molts. 
All right, so here's the last one. This is my Caribbean Versicolor or the Antilles Pink Toe. You can see her right there. Um, she's in her web tunnel, so I can't really get a clear shot of her. But if you guys follow my Instagram, I also posted a picture of her on there. And by the way, I'll leave a link to my Instagram in this video. Uh, I do it in all my videos. I post kind of behind the scenes in there and give you guys heads up of videos before I post them. Just so you guys can know. So if you want to see extras, then go follow there. But yeah, anyway, she molted, as you can see down there. I keep track of all the dates when my tarantula is molted. Uh, she's been doing good. Um, still hasn't been able to eat yet. And also with her, I need to moisten down her substrate. Because it is watering day for my tarantulas. So I decided to wait till I film them to water them. Um, but anyways, I think that should do it. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, please leave a dislike, just so. And then you guys can tell me um, what you would like to see. If there's something you don't like to see. Um, one thing I do want to say is, in this video, I'm recording with a microphone. So, hopefully the audio will be better. And... Let me know if you guys like it or not, or if you want me to use without it. I'll gladly do that. And then also, um, today of me recording this is Tuesday. When you guys will see it will be Wednesday. And on Thursday, I will be leaving for a vacation. And it will last till Sunday. So, I might not be able to post a video for Friday and Monday. I'm hoping to be able to film some ahead of time, but I just want to let you guys know ahead of time just in case if I'm not able to uh, do that. But hopefully I will. I have a couple plans. Alright, so this is the end of the video, and I'll see you guys next time.